Hey guys, Arena Stories here, and today I'm going to be showing you what is to come in Season of Discovery Phase 6. First off guys, we have the U 2.5 tier set, which has been itemized and updated. So first off guys, we have the Jute set, Genesis Treads, Genesis Stompers, and Genesis Greaves. Next up guys, we have Hunters, Strikers Treads, and Strikers Foot Guards. Next up, we have Mages, Enigma Boots, and Enigma Slippers. Next up, we have Paladins, Avengers Sabatons, Avengers Grievers, and Avengers Treads. Next up, we have Priest, Foot Wraps of the Oracle, and Slippers of the Oracle, Death Dealer's Treads, and Death Dealer's Boots. Next up, we have Shaman, Stormcaller's Treads, Stormcaller's Foot Guards, and Stormcaller's Greaves. Next up is Warlocks, Doomcaller's Treads, and Doomcaller's Foot Wraps. And finally, Warriors, Conquerors, Sabatons, and Conquerors Greaves. Now, moving on to the next subject, guys, which is the new Dark Moon Fair cards. Now, it is basically the same Dark Moon Fair cards, guys, but but they have been tweaked slightly. As you can see here on the left, we have the old version of the Dark Moon Heroism card, and to the right, we have the new version. Again, not that big of an update here. As you and finally, in my opinion, which is a massive, massive difference here, which is the Dark Moon Fair card of the of the Twisting Nether. Next up is the new Blood Moon Events rewards in Season of Discovery and the new mounts that have been added. Now, these are the new mounts, guys. Whistle of the Blood Caked Raptor and Reigns of the Blood Caked Tiger. And I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, these tigers have more cake than Mia Khalifa. And they did add new items, guys. For example, here are a few necks. The rings, guys. Blood Caked Band, Blood Caked Circle, Blood Caked Ring, and Blood Caked Loop. Again, you want this for the stamina, guys. Next up is the Cloaks, Blood Kate. Finally guys, this is a must and I have mentioned this multiple times. I am not sure if Blizzard heard me out. They finally added a 2 minute cooldown trinket. Next up is the new Synethid mounts that now work outside on Garage. Here is a small photo guys. But use the mounts outside which is pretty decent. Next up is the rank 14 Warlords weapons that have been updated and itemized. Now in terms of the weapons guys, I'll put up a few examples here. Again, in my opinion, there really isn't that much of an upgrade, not that much of a difference between the weapons. It seems like they've just been tweaked slightly, and that's really nothing exciting. Again, speaking on my own personal opinion, guys, I think Blizzard could have done way, way more than what they have done now. They could have added new weapons, possibly new stats. And when I say new stats, I mean something completely different than just adding a few, a few extra damage, but... It is slightly disappointing in my own personal opinion. New reitemized professions gear that you can now craft. Now with the professions gear, there are some significant differences than classic eras, but again, nothing too crazy and nothing creative or blizzard gave up on SOD guys in my personal opinion. Not seem like they want to be creative at all with any of this. Just adding the same old thing over and over again, just feeding us the same bullshit. If, I, if I'm being 100% honest here, guys, which is why it is slightly disappointing in phase six, in my own personal opinion, I have been saying for quite some time now, guys, in terms of PvP, it is that they could have added rated battlegrounds, guys. Now, I think what they could have done in phase six is possibly add rated battlegrounds. It would have kept people active and had something to climb and strive for instead of just logging in every day, basically going in, gearing your out leveling a new class and doing nothing for the rest of the month and in my opinion again guys speaking from my and again just speaking from my own opinion guys since the new classic fresh servers are coming out i think a lot of people are going to be moving there instead of staying in sod sadly since i do not think they did a good job they did not invest enough time or manpower into this project what they should have done guys is they should have gone to streamers and asked for advice in terms of pvp in terms of pve as well and what they could have done to make the game more active and pull people in i still do believe that this is a really really good idea that wow has come up with bringing out sod but they just had the wrong approach to it since they are not being very creative they are just taking the same old stuff rinse and recycle you know the drill guys and it's just not exciting anymore since ever since phase three and i personally think that if they do not start being creative and adding more effort into this the game might possibly die specifically speaking on sud not the other expansions a new fresh service and classic area might be carrying wow 
and possibly hardcore wow and again i am not and again if any of you have been watching me for quite some time now you all know that i am not a pv here i mainly just pvp but we will see what will happen guys and yep that's all for now guys just want to give you a quick update and i'll see you in the next video